The Mosaic Youth Theater of Detroit received an extraordinary gift last month when Broadway producer and Metro Detroit native Jeffrey Seller donated $1 million to the organization. The grant will help fund summer camp and middle school programs. Mosaic was founded 27 years ago to empower young people through the performing arts. Mosaic founder Rick Sperling is retiring later this year, and joining me now is the new co-leader of the organization, Executive Director Stephanie Wirth. Welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you for having me, Stephen. So let's start with congratulations. That is a Thank very you. big gift. It we was are. Uh, surprising <laughs> to read that and uh, joyously surprising. <laughs> it's an, a thrilling gift. We are we were surprised to receive it, and we're very excited to have it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, first question. What are you going to do with the money? <laughs> what are we going to do with the money? We are going to use the money for our summer camp program and for our in-school residencies. So our summer camp serves currently about 180 youth in the summer, ages 7 through 13 or so. And then our middle school programs are in-school residencies and schools that don't have arts programs. So we're going to be able to expand those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell the viewers about Mosaic. It's one of my favorite organizations around the city. Uh, and, and I always say that, that it's this place that takes young people and turns them into stars. I feel like when I see the performances that these young people are capable of after just a short time with you guys, it is mind blowing. Mosaic is a magical place, is how I'm describing it. I've been there seven months, mm -hmm. so I'm very new to the organization <laughs> internally, and what I saw from the outside is even more wonderful on the inside, <laughs> because not only do we turn young people into stars, if they want to be stars mm -hmm. on Broadway or that kind of thing, but we turn them into really great global citizens. So Mosaic has theater programming, and it has vocal programming, it has summer camps, it has the in-school residencies, we have arts administration, internships. We have technical theater programs because of the lack of children of color, people of color who work backstage and behind camera. Mm -hmm. So we have a really wide variety of programming and our focus is not so much on getting folks on Broadway and on stage, but again, it's just in making them good citizens and good, good people And they of the become world. different people. Uh, the, the confidence, I guess, uh, that, that you see from children who are involved in this kind of programming really is remarkable. Arts education does something for children that other genres may not do for children. I always tell people, you know, we teach kids how to take nothing and turn it into something. Mm -hmm. So you take, you know, a few words and you turn that into an entire production. You take some lyrics and you turn that into a wonderful concert. That translates into work skills when you grow up and get a real world job. Mm -hmm. You can take on a project and you can apply creativity and critical thinking and analysis to that that particular project you've been given at work and you can be a success in in the workforce. Mm -hmm. And this is a this is a program that's available to to anybody. Correct? It's open to anybody. Mm -hmm. We do have scholarships available. We try not to turn anybody away just due to cost. Some of our programs are free. Some of them have costs attached, but again, you know, we don't want to see young people not be able to partake in Marse in Mosaic just because of of cost. Of cost. Uh, back to the gift, uh, Jeffrey Seller is the producer of Hamilton, a, a very popular musical that's playing on Broadway. I have seen it twice uh, in New York <laughs> already. <laughs> um, uh, 
that that kind of support from somebody like that also, I think, says something about uh, the value of Mosaic and the value of kids in this city. Absolutely. So Jeffries had a relationship with Mosaic for a few years. We performed at uh, the pub in New York City through our summer internship that some of the kids go on. Um, he saw Mosaic, really liked Mosaic, even though he's known of Rick for many, many years. And I think we just kind of stuck with him. So Hamilton, as you know, is a very successful musical and he has started the Cellar Lehrer Family Foundation in New York. And we were one of their first major gifts. Mm -hmm. So, um, and hopefully you'll see Hamilton when it comes to Detroit as well. I, uh, I guess it's coming, Night. This, yes, it's coming yes. this season uh, to Detroit, isn't that right? It I is. gotta take my kids to, to see it uh, so that way. Uh, talk about um, uh, where we are with uh, providing these kinds of opportunities for kids in our city. As you mentioned, uh, part of what you guys are doing is, is going into schools that don't have this kind of programming anymore and and providing it but but uh, mosaic's been at this for a long time are we are we getting better at it are we opening the doors a little wider well i think we can all see that arts for whatever reason is is generally one of the first programs cut when it mm -hmm. comes to funding unfortunately so we do look at access we look at schools that don't have programming we look at our ability to partner in community and take some of our you know, our resources out into community like we do with the summer camps. We're going into schools. We're trying to get kids down to our headquarters in Mosaic. But access is not only a matter sometimes of you not having art in your school. Uh, there are also schools that have art programs, but it may not be an affirming art program. Mm -hmm. It may not be a theater program that affirms you culturally. Mm -hmm. um, it may not be uh, an art program that you have access to simply because of scheduling issues um, if you are a middle schooler or a high schooler. So there are a variety of things linked to access and we try and be open to receiving children because of whatever their access limitations are. Yeah, uh, affirming. Uh, talk a little more about what you mean when you say that. When you say culture, when I say culturally affirming, mm -hmm. um, you can come to Mosaic. Mosaic is a safe space. Um, I've, I've heard Rick talk about Mosaic as one of the first places where children who are LBGTQ felt safe, um, felt like they could come and they could use their voice and they could be safe. We take you, you know, it's kind of come as you are. Mm -hmm. We welcome you as you are. We have rules. We have discipline. Um, but that's okay. You know, use your voice. Find a way to express yourself. Find the means that makes you feel like the most whole person you can be. And to do that within a culturally sensitive environment as well um, is very meaningful to, to children. They yeah. want to be recognized for who they are. And that sort of gets back to this idea of the confidence that I think I Absolutely. perceive from uh, all of the kids I run into who are involved uh, in Mosaic. Uh, as I said in the open, there's a leadership turn taking place yes. uh, at uh, Mosaic. Uh, tell us a little about your background and how you come to the, uh, to the organization. It's an exciting time at Mosaic. Um, a little heady because Rick has been there for 27 <laughs> yes, years. That's right. So I People am, think Mosaic is Rick's. <laughs> is Rick. Right? So Delache Strotter is my, I'm joined at the hip with her. She is the artistic director. So she's over programming and the artistic side. I'm looking at things like strategic plan and fundraising and marketing and, the, and those pieces, but they are heavily intertwined. So you can't do one <laughs> without the other. Mm -hmm. So we are also looking at Mosaic's next 27 years, you know, looking at maybe integrating more technology how can we be more efficient how do we reach more children with limited resources certainly this million dollars is a huge gift but it is a limited gift just to two of our programs it's kind of metered out over the next five years sometimes people think we're sitting at the table throwing dollar bills up into the air that's not quite the <laughs> not case quite, right yeah. now um, and almost all funders want to give you limited funding and and for you to find a way to stand on your own two feet. So this is our opportunity to do that at Mosaic and take this leadership turn and see where we can go mm -hmm. into the future. Yeah. So well, I'm congratulations uh, on the, the changeover, the leadership changeover, and big congratulations again on the gift. Thank you. Yeah, thank and thank you. you for being here.